tips. You got your tips and tricks and your tricks. It's hot play TV. Hot play TV. H O T P L A T E T V. Hot play TV. Hot play TV. Hot play TV. Boy, oh. <laughs> You don't understand how to be tolerant of everyone's everything, you know? I don't. But I get it. You'll get it one day. I'll figure it out. Yep. I'm confident in myself. Boy. No one confident. can tolerate my everything. That just happened. Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to, uh, Hot Stove Not It. Oh, no, I'm just reaching in to get a better smell, really. Oh, that's good. Wow. That smells great. So you want to be careful when opening this that you don't like <laughs> hit anybody with it because like I feel really bad for him now because I think I hit him in the <laughs> area which is <laughs> extremely sensitive. Oh, no time for crying. We're boiling over. I'd say we're almost there. We're almost we're there. We're getting there for sure. For sure. We're for almost sure. there. Hey, smell this. Wow, that's got some flavors for sure. For oh. sure. Man. It's getting way too hot in here. Way, way, way hot. What you want to do is you want to just clap it away. Clap the steam away because we don't want the smoke detectors going off. This pad we have here, this steam is actually sensitive. very steam sensitive and alarms will go off if you don't keep the steam under wraps. You can say we have low self-esteem. You can turn this on, but we want you folks at home to be able to hear, hear us, us as clearly as possible. And uh, oh, if no. your hands get cold, you can also just warm them. Water isn't like fire in that way, but it's both warm when it's boiling. It is. This is starting to smell a little Christmassy. It is. It is Christmassy because it's Christmas season. Wow. You couldn't have been more wrong. Why are you getting upset? I'm just edgy today, okay? You know it's Mother's Day, and you know... We, cho we, we chose to neglect our mothers because, quite frankly, we have better shit to do. I just miss my mom. So I'm thinking one more ingredient. I want to see your tea bag. Here we got the close up. You can see all the ingredients are are coming along quite nicely. We got our we got our stir stick here. We got our raspberries that are softening up quite nicely. Everything's really softening up quite nicely in the hot water. We got our camera woman Heidi there. Well, it appears this is almost ready. Wouldn't you say? I'd say it's pretty much ready to go. So what you need to do next is we're gonna serve it on one of these, okay? But we've got a little too much liquid in here. If, if we just use this warming tray to Mm -hmm. Remove some of the excess liquid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always make sure that you have at least one hair kicking around your food. I simply just found one of Dan's hairs. Yeah, that's Dan's hair. And does it taste like me? It sure does. It sure does. But you know, there's always a special place. Obviously, once you find it, you put it in the garbage. But you know, you want to make sure it's in your there. food first. It's got to be in your food first. I've scooped up an adequate amount of the food, mm -hmm. and I'm going to just bring it over onto this block of wood. Look at that. And just look at that. Set it down. Don't wow. worry, the stove is off, but it's still hot, so you don't want to touch it. Look at that. So we've got the food here. We forgot my cocktail to wash it down. I can't get over how beautiful this is. Yeah. So we got a little here. The, it's a prairie, prairie farm drink, because you just want to hold my drink for me for definitely, a second. Definitely, definitely. Perfect. So I'm going to start off by just... Gently, just, I believe the kids call this tea bagging themselves. Make sure it's not too, oh, it's flopping around. Just making sure, I don't want to make sure this tea bag's too hot. Yep, that feels, feels almost there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you start with the tea bag. Just slurp it a wow, little bit. Wow, is that strong but delicious. My grandma actually taught me how to do this. When the oh, food was too okay. cold, she's like, hey, it's really hot now. It used to be too cold, so I'll heat it up for you. And then she heated it up, and I'm like, whoa, 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 That is way too hot, Grandma. So she would just put it on the fork, and she'd be like, use your lungs, sonny boy. Use your lungs. So she... So now we're almost... Ah, yes. There we are. Perfect temperature. 
Mm. Boy, wash oh, that boy. down, wash that down. Thank you so much. Oh, this is gonna be good. I cannot wait for this. Oh, that's good. Boy, is that delicious. I can't believe how delicious that is. Whew. Oh, so I'm bursting at the seat. <laughs> Are you doing all right, Taylor? Oh yeah. Uh, I think there's something wrong with the recipe. Uh, my drink was fine, but the food's not. Oh. What do, you, what do you give that on a hot plate score? I'd say that's a ten out of ten. We got a hot plate ten out of ten, ladies and fellas. So that's a ten out of ten on appearance? taste. Appearance. Taste was eleven out of ten. Okay. I'd say, but uh, energy. How are you feeling, energy? I feel energy -wise? probably more like Rocky Balboa energetic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just really proud of all of us. I'm just proud of the whole team. Mainly, mainly us, but we're we're proud of Heidi. Oh, I'm Heidi! Thanks for Heidi. You, thanks for the work you do on a daily basis, in and out of daily time. And uh, I think that's it for this episode of Hot Plate Television. But make sure you tune, stay tuned for Channel 13 News and tune in next week for more Hot Plate TV. Thanks, guys.